Hey guys, I'm with Lord Demon and welcome to my channel and before anything I would like to thank you all so much uh, We hit 100 subscribers this weekend and I just want to say that I really appreciate every single one of you And thank you for being here today, I have something fun to show you A few weeks ago, I don't know why exactly, but I started to listen to the songs of Teen Witch Movie again I haven't rewatched the movie, but I've listened to the songs, especially Cruising for Bruising and Surf Crazy and it made me think about movie rivalries in between groups. In this one we have surfers and bikers and they are from opposing sides. They're mortal enemies. And it reminded me of some other dynamics like that, so I decided to draw a few characters from those opposing sides, but being friends or lovers. I really like those sort of stories, they are kinda fun sometimes. So let's get started! The first drawing of today, because yes, today I have multiple drawings for you, is the one that started all of this. It's the bikers and surfers rivalry. And I don't know how this started. Do you know how it started? It, is this a real thing? Like, please tell me, I'm very confused. But anyway, I decided to draw two girls walking on the beach. One of them is a biker and the other one is a surfer. And I wrote a short story, very very short story, about these two, just to set the scene for you. So let me tell you this story of a biker and a surfer. It was early in the morning, around 7am, the ocean was a little rough and the sky was cloudy. It would probably start raining later. A motorcycle drives fast on the road. You could see a surfboard strapped to its side while two people ride it. They stop close to a bar on the beach and both hop off the bike, taking their helmets off. Are you staying here? says the shorter girl getting her surfboard off the straps. Yeah, I'll stay over there on the sand says the other girl, parking the bike more properly. I don't want you out there alone. Oh, you don't have to worry, I'm a trained professional of not drowning. I'm just saying that you can knock out a wave with a punch, it's not that easy. I promise to be careful, okay? Okay, I'll be waiting for you with a towel when you're out of the water. Let's go then, we are wasting time here. She grabs her hand and both walk on the beach in the ocean's direction. Do you think you'd like a jet ski? I don't know, could be fun. And that's it for them. I imagine they met at the beach bar one day and started to talk with each other and then it just happened that they had a lot in common. I had a lot of fun imagining some of the moments they've been through and how they act and interact with each other. In my mind the biker doesn't know how to swim, but maybe one day she'll learn. And I imagine the surfer was scared the first time that she was on a bike, but now she really likes to go on rides with her girlfriend. I was going to give her a car, but then I did a little bit of research and I found these surfboard support things that you can install on a bike and I just love that idea so much that I ditched the car and stuck with just that. I think she would go with other surfers when she could or take an Uber to the beach, but now her girlfriend gives her a ride every day. She does get a little nervous to see her surf, but she's also amazed at the same time, you know. And I'm gonna stop thinking and writing about them because I already have enough characters and stories I wanna work on. I can't give a full backstory to every single character I draw. It will be the end of me, I swear. But I just think they are super adorable. I didn't name them, but if you have any name suggestions, you can tell me in the comments. And now let's move on to our next rivals. Next on the list, we have a classic in my opinion, and that is vampires and werewolves. I don't know exactly when this started, but I think it is older than Twilight. These mythical creatures are very common in media and paranormal stories in general. I have them in my mythology story too. And a lot of times they are rivals, but this time I don't think they are. I drew these two young men, one of them is a vampire and the other one is a werewolf of course. And I have a short story for these two as well, so let's get into it. There were still a few hours until prom started, but almost everything was ready for the party. This year it was all planned by a young vampire. It is common sense that vampires were the best ones at making balls and parties, so he definitely knows what he's doing. There are a few other students there to help with everything, and by the time of the party it was looking amazing. People start arriving, some nice music is playing, there are snacks and drinks at the tables, some cute places take pictures, everything was going great and he finally had some time to relax and enjoy the party. Hey, someone says behind him, I grabbed some snacks on my way here. The vampire looks to his side and sees a tall werewolf. You came, he answers excited. I was starting to think he wouldn't. 
I didn't want to leave you here alone, especially after all the work you put into this, it looks great! I'm glad you like it, your shirt is really cute! Thank you, I bought it last week! They share a few chips, while looking a little embarrassed. Were you the one that picked the music too? Yes, I made the playlist, do you like it? I do, but I don't think these songs are made for just standing on the side, let's go dance! Oh, I don't, I don't think I should, the vampire says. I have to make sure everything is going well. Then you have to check if the music is good for dancing, let's go! The werewolf grabs him by the hands and pulls him to the middle of the party. They dance a little, shared some more snacks and took a few pictures together to remember that night. And here you go, just a cute teenage crush, very very short story. Again, they don't have names, I'm taking suggestions, but I imagine they live in a world where humans and monsters just live together, no problem. And they're in high school, probably in the same class, and they probably have lunch together when they can, give each other gifts for their birthdays, but they're still clueless about the feelings of the other. It's normal teenage story stuff. When it comes to them individually, I imagine that the vampire is very smart and dedicated to school. Always makes the best projects and has the best grades because he doesn't need as much sleep so he just stays up making cool presentations and studying. And he likes it, it's not like pressure, he just really likes doing that. He's not the most social person ever, he likes to spend time on his own, but he isn't rude. He's that person that everyone knows and chats a little bit with, but isn't necessarily super close with everyone either, with the exception of the werewolf. And talking about him, I imagine him being like a big puppy dog, he's tall and may look a little bit intimidating, but he's the sweetest, softest person in the world. I was going to make him look more werewolfy, like with claws and wolf ears and a tail, but I guess it wasn't a full moon on the prom night. But I imagine him always going up to his vampire friend to tell him about everything that happens in his life. He loves to give hugs and to be close with the people he loves. What do you think about them? I think they're really cute. And now let's go to the last two rivals. And for these last two we have an angel and a demon, so let me read you the 50 page fanfic about Crowley and Aziraphale, let's go! I'm kidding, I'm just kidding, I didn't want to make fan art for this video, otherwise we would have Jacob and Edward on the previous drawing. But just like our ineffable husbands, we have a demon and an angel here. And these two still have a little bit of a rivalry on their dynamics, so let me just read you their short story. Hell was feeling particularly warm today. There were a few demons and lost souls passing by the hallways, but it wasn't super busy. A small demon is walking calmly, but they see a shining light coming from a dead end. What is- Whoa! Before being able to finish their sentence, they get pulled to the dark alley. Shh! Be quiet! What are you doing here? The demon whispers. It's dangerous for angels to come to hell. Can you stop moving for a second, please? I'm trying to stay hidden. Answers the angel. Then let me go! You know I don't like this hug thing you do! This is not a hug, the angel says embarrassed. I was just trying to shut you up. You were about to blow my cover. They let go of the demon that straightens their clothes. You haven't answered my question. What do you think you're doing here? I'm spying on hell. You know, that's my job. And I'm supposed to be spying on heaven, but we agreed to do each other's jobs to avoid trouble. We were going to that restaurant next week to exchange information. So why are you here? Well, the angel says fidgeting with their fingers. I wanted to see what hell was like. All the demons were on angels, so you have all seen heaven, but most angels haven't seen hell. I think that's unfair. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry you haven't been damned for eternity to come live in the five-star hotel at the end of this hallway. Are you insane? I'm here now, aren't I? You should give me a tour. A tour? Yes. The demon stares speechless for a few seconds. Come on, we have to find you some different clothes. And here we have the third story, I had a lot of fun writing this one, I got a little bit excited. I imagine both of them as being very similar in functions, even when they were, you know, still both angels. And I tried to make them look cute, because if you haven't noticed, I like cute things. And I had a lot of fun with these short stories, I think they are a good writing exercise. I need to practice my writing a lot, uh, I'm not even close to being uh, good at it. But that's not the point of the video, and I was talking about our demon and angel characters. I tried to keep them very androgynous this time, and I imagine they were assigned the role of spying, so that both Hell and Eva know what's going on. But they met each other one day, and decide to just talk to each other. 
Who knew that a diplomatic exchange would be easier and more practical than a complex and dangerous plan for spying? And so they decided to have meetings in the human world, on Earth, because both demons and angels can go there relatively easily. And so they just hang out with each other. But they still consider their side to be the right side, and so if you ask any of them, they would say that they are rivals. But if you just witness them interacting, you could immediately see that they are friends. And there we have it, three rivalries, three drawings, three stories, I have a few more rival ideas, but I think I'll keep them to another video when I have enough of them to make another one of these. For now I have pirates and mermaids or sirens, and fairies and witches. Do you know of any other rivalry like this? I would appreciate your help, because I don't know how to research this, I can't find anything like this online. But thank you so much for watching, you can comment names for all of these characters, they don't have any names yet, and tell me which rivalries you'd like to see me portray next. Leave a like if you like this video, subscribe so you don't miss any uploads, I'm posting shorts every day and videos every Wednesday. Thank you again for watching, have a great day and I'll see you on the next one, bye!